Guys, the day has finally come. Classical musicians are going to lose our jobs. No! The threat of AI. No, AI. Taking our jobs. AI is coming. We came across a very, very interesting article. The headline says, AI can now compose pop music and even symphonies. Here's how composers are joining in. Artificial intelligence giving composers new tools for composing and collaborating, but some see a downside. Ooh. Mm, well, yeah, well, jobs will be gone. <laughs> yeah. There's something I've vaguely heard about a little bit before that in the pop music industry, they're trying to create AI to like churn out pop, pop music. Yeah. You know, pop music <clears throat> is quite formulaic. Yeah. But I never thought that classical music, I mean, I can believe it, but I've never thought about the concept that yeah. AI could compose. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A great symphony. We'll keep reading the article and show in a second, but there's actually an AI that finished Schubert's Unfinished Symphony. For those of you who don't know some backstory, Schubert's Unfinished Symphony is probably one of his most famous works, and he stopped at two movements. But let's read a bit more, see what it's about. Now, apparently, Lucas Cantor, a Los Angeles based composer of film and television, finished the work with the help of artificial intelligence that runs on a smartphone. Wow. Dude. I jumped at the opportunity to use AI to complete the symphony. I think I responded yes before I even finished reading the email. AI is essentially a pattern recognition system. Feed it enough data and it will find patterns within the information that it can use to make decisions. In the case of the Schubert Symphony, the decisions were about which musical notes should be placed well. That's pretty crazy. That's insane. How does one even do that? I know, it's like, Schubert wrote this many perfect fourths and fifths. The goal was to teach the AI to think like Schubert and to compose new passages, including what Cantor calls the heart and soul of any piece of music. The melody. Oh. Uh, that, is, that is a big call. <laughs> Can <laughs> AI achieve heart and soul? Experts argue that AI could one day automate entire industries. Ah, uh, jobs. Oh, uh, no, no, musician. But even the most beautiful music is ultimately just code. It depends how you look at it, right? Yeah. Like, there's definitely rules in music, like theory, the perfect force, force. A lot of it is expressive and intuitive. Who knows? Can Maybe I... there's some genius pattern that humans just, our brains subconsciously do it. I don't know. I'm getting nervous. All right. So let's listen to a little bit from the beginning, which is what Schubert actually wrote. So we can kind of readjust our ears to Schubert's style. It's gonna go on for like 45 minutes. Are you guys the only time listen to this unfinished symphony? I'm not a music expert in terms of like all the composer styles and yeah. composer, composition, but things I'm picking up on are, you know, Schubert has his famous lyrical melodies that's so soulful. Winds carrying on, to like the li wind lines versus the string lines. Yes. A lot of like pizzas in the basses, the cello bass, and he has interesting modulations as well, mm. like going from major to minor. It takes a master to do that. Now let's see what the AI does.
Smartphone? Really? It's got literally the elements that we're talking about just then. It's yeah. String and then the wind and strings came in together. I mean, obviously that dururu is very reminiscent of the first movement. Right? Yeah. I'm not sure if Schubert would repeat that for the third movement because usually the third movement it's something is something else. different. Yeah. But if we ignore the fact that it's meant to be a third movement and just remember the fact that it's a freaking computer composing this. This could have just been the first movement. Now, if you didn't tell me that AI wrote this and it's like, hey. Some composer called Xu Xu wrote this symphony. I'd be like, dude, this is a pretty good composer. Yeah, I like, would not ever suspect this was written by AI. Dude, Xu Xu, you're amazing. <laughs> you imagine like this is actually Xu, but we just got psyched. <laughs> <laughs> Can I say at least it got the right periodic style. It did. It didn't go too crazy, too like classical or too heavy romantic. Yeah, it, it feels like Schubert. Yeah, I'm sure like Schubert experts could probably be like, oh, there's some things it yeah. does that's not what Schubert would do. But it's not Bach. It's, it's not Shostakovich. It's, it's not. definitely late classical, early romantic yeah. style. Exactly. One thing that it's quite abrupt though. Yeah. The AI still can't get the subtlety that Schubert can make like. I guess I agree. The phrasing it changes, right? Because all of a sudden, da, da, dun, 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 yeah. it's like, dude, this is like Gallop. Or, <laughs> yeah. or, what are you thinking, you know? But like, it's <laughs> impressive. And it it's, especially impressive. that part of the wind and string started conversing again. The craziest thing is how? How does a phone compose this? How? Hey Siri, compose me a symphony, please. Okay, I found this on the web for compose me a symphony, nah. please. Nah. Siri's Check back in 1990s. <laughs> It's a bit more like Beethoven, or not even Beethoven. It, it feels too repetitive. Too, it feels not too subtle enough. Yeah, it, it feels too obvious. Yes, it's too literal. Yeah, and yeah. the style feels a little bit more folkish, almost like I don't want to say Dvorak, but leaning towards that me. side, yeah. right? This sounds like film music. Jump off the cliff and fly into the sky. Oh, I like that, that's pretty. That's very pretty. Oh. Oh. <laughs> So the AI likes repeating the It's things. very repetitive. So I think it's the, 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 thinking literally one type of thing, right? Next type of stupid technique. Right, next yeah. type of stupid technique. Yeah. No, I wonder if that's placebo. Because imagine, like you said, it was a prank. Yeah. And this is actually stupid. Yeah, but yeah, we're exactly. Like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Whatever it is, ask your friends. Just show them this video and be like, we found a stupid composer. What do you think? Like, oh, really? Wow, it's amazing. Actually, it's an AI. All the university's teachers can just prank the students. Yeah, just Guys, I've it. discovered that Schubert's latest unfinished symphony just got released. They found it. April Fool's. April Fool's. Oh, wow. Should we listen to the fourth moment? Yeah, I want to hear it. To me, it's like it's switching between like Russian to like German. Dude. So it sounds like <clears throat> the pizzicato movement from Tchaikovsky yeah. Symphony. Two sets of ten. Da da So abrupt. Now I think I agree with you. There's definitely moments that are absolutely incredible, but as a whole, <laughs> to me. It's not quite there. Yeah, you need, you still need a composer to yeah. be able to encapsulate it. But yeah. who knows? 
Maybe give it another 20 years, AI will be like... I Someone will just, just make AIs like, this is the Brahms AI. Peggy. Not even that. Imagine the AI did 80% of the composing and then Hans Zimmer comes along and tweaks the last 20%. It's like, oh, my oh. film score! Probably already is happening. Probably already oh, is happening. Yeah, 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 it probably right? already is happening, to be honest. I want to read the comments, see what people think. A big mistake. It remembers more Tchaikovsky or other Russian composers than Schubert. Why it happened. I can see yeah. what you mean by the Russian composers. I don't know if it's a mistake though, I still think it's very impressive. It's impressive with that. Yeah. yeah. Schubert does <laughs> <not. laughs> yeah. yeah. Schubert was like, well it's supposed to be unfinished, leave me alone. Sounds like all of the 19th century client Meisters and 21st century second-rate film composers Uber has been eaten. Digest the bath out and present to public. I very much doubt that AI could produce first-rate music anywhere in a thousand years. Music is not a zero-sum game like chess where the rules are constant and concrete, okay? Fair enough. I'm not sure that's how AI works though. So. I think it could just learn and go over things. I mean, I don't know tech as well. I, I kind of like get some of these comments as well. Yeah. Like we said, it's not really perfect. Yeah. There's still parts of it doesn't feel like it's an actual composer. Last movement. It is a joke. Shiba is not a dis oh, I yeah. thought it did sound a bit like Disney. Disney. Pixar music. Oh, <laughs> what a rush, dude. Why they didn't engage a Shiba specialist. The AI was good, but pointless and not closely followed. Nobody wants a new version of Mozart Requiem with dude. Bartok's harmony. Damn, dude, the comment section is intense. roasting I the AI. I think the point of this isn't really to finish the symphony, but rather to show what technology yeah, can do that's nowadays. A good point. Of course it won't sound like Shiba, but it's interesting. Once you start changing what the AI wrote, then you can't say it's created by AI. Exactly. Yeah. I agree both sides. I yeah. can understand as a musician and definitely people that are passionate about classical yeah. music, it, it can almost border on offensive yeah. to see something claiming to be Schubert, but it's clearly not. But I think if you look at it from the lens of just how much work must have gone in for technology to, to be able to do that. That's a lot of work. It really challenges what it means to make music and what it means to be human, I guess. It's interesting to think about, but at the end of the day, music is very much closely tied to subjective feelings and yep. emotions. And, you know, that's definitely why we love doing it. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I have conflicted thoughts. Conflicted thoughts. Like emotions have been played with. Ding, ding. <laughs> it would be very interesting to me, though, to see an AI concert not trying to be stupid. Because most of these criticisms were like, this is clearly not stupid. What if an AI just composes this own symphony? That would be interesting. It would be very interesting. How will we judge that from a human lens? Uh, Ooh. What if the AI develops its own taste? Exactly. Like, this is better than stupid. I don't want... Oh, We're gonna lose our job. Yeah. Oh. Ling Ling will save us. Ling Ling will come and save the day. So make sure you're practicing and uh, please accent like button. I'll see you guys next time.